Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Your name? Sir, Seta Rakshmi, sir. Okay, Seta Rakshmi, can I have your resume? Seta Rakshmi, can you introduce yourself? Okay, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Dasar Seta Rakshmi. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I am currently staying at Hyderabad. And recently, I had completed my graduation in the stream of a BSc Computers at Sri Gudatta Degree College from Andhra University. And my, coming to my family details, we are four members, including with me. And my software skills are front end and uh, C sharp, H, uh, C sharp, ASP .NET and SQL Server. That um, my hobby is uh, listening music and gardening. That's all about me, sir. Thank you. Okay, Lakshmi, how much rate yourself in C sharp and ASP .NET? Three point five, sir. Out of five. Yes. Okay, five. So let me ask some questions. So explain the futures of C sharp. See, sir, future, sir, it is a object-oriented programming language and platform independent and structured programming language and scalability, uh, scalability and updatable. That's it, that's it. So, what is the object casting? Object casting is converting to one object data type to another data, another object data type. These are two types: upcoming, uh, up, uh, upcoming casting and down object casting. These are upcoming casting is a so converting to super uh, object uh, data type to sub object data type and uh, coming to down casting it is a so uh, sub uh, converting casting to super converting cast to sub uh, converting cast converting object data type. Okay, so what is constructor? Constructor is a same name constru class name and constructor name is the same. And parameters are different. It is specified the same, same as method. Okay. So what is constructor chaining? Constructor chaining is uh, calling to one constructor to another constructor. Uh, this we uh, in this uh, constructor chaining using to two keywords. These are a uh, sofa keyword and a this keyword. Okay. So what is the difference between managed code and unmanaged code? Is a managed code. Uh, when we help, uh, when we taking the help of a CLR for execution purpose, it is called as a managed code. When we uh, no, does not taking the help of a CLR for execution purpose, it is called as an unmanaged code. So explain what is ADO.NET and what is its futures. ADO.NET. ADO.NET. ADO full form is a standard for stands for ActiveX Data Object for .NET. And uh, it is a data access technology. Enable it coming. It enables to communication between database and a .NET framework. Data sources uh, like uh, data, uh, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, such uh, like. Okay. So what are the major components of uh, .NET? Major components are uh, uh, the ADO .NET is consists of uh, some namespaces. These are using system uh, using system dot data using system dot uh, data dot uh, SQL client these are uh, main uh, main components of uh, ADO dot net is SQL uh, connection command data reader data adapter and data set and uh, transfer and parameters coming to connection uh, it represents the session of a data and coming to command it, uh, it will execute the SQL commands and data reader data reader is a Faster and forward only, read only for data access uh, from the database and data adapter. Data adapter acts as a uh, bridge between uh, data set and the databases. Okay, fine. So, what is ASP.NET and what are its validations? ASP.NET it is an actual server base. Yeah, the validations is a kind. Uh, Consists of a validation is a five types. These are uh, require field validator, um, range validator, and a regular expression validator. Validation summary, custom validations, and a, uh, control validations. Okay, what is the difference between cookies and sessions in ASP.NET? Cookies is a uh, client side server side technology, and the session is a server side technology. Cookies that are uh, Cookies uh, default time is a uh, 30 minutes, session default time is a uh, 20 minutes, and uh, cookies is a uh, less uh, security and the session is a uh, more security. 
Yeah. Okay. Ne? What is the type safe function pointers? Type safe function pointers. Yes, in C sharp. Type safe function pointers. Delegates. Delegates are uh, type safe function pointers. Okay. What are the DDL comments here? DDL comments are uh, DDL stands for a data definition long with these uh, these comments are a alter, create, rename and uh, truncate and drop set. Okay, what is the main purpose of the DBMS? DBMS D, uh, DBMS stands for database management system. It is a uh, managed uh, managed to the data from database. Okay, what is the role of the garbage collector? Garbage collector is this a memory man, uh, memory management is a handling by a garbage collector. Garbage collector is a main component of the CLR. It is a uh, two duties. These are one is a allocating the memory, another one is a deallocating the memory. Allocating uh, allocating memory is a once we create the object, it will uh, it will use the object the that time. Garbage collector is allocating the memory. Deallocating the memory, it is once we create the object, it does not uh, use that time. Uh, garbage collector is uh, deallocating the memory. Okay, fine. What is the difference between static and non static? Static uh, static is which is uh, declared the inside the inside the class and outside the method by using a static keyword, it is called as a static method, uh, static variable, and uh, non static which is declared the inside the class and outside the method, it is. Um, not cannot using the static keyword it is called as a non static method non static variable let's find that is a little bit wrong so what is an array array is a stores the uh, collection of, uh, stores the data with the same data type and it is a homogeneous it, it having a three types of uh, arrays one uh, first one is a single uh, single Single dimensional array and a uh, second one is multi dimensional array and third one is a jogged array. Coming to the single dimensional array, it is a uh, store the data one, uh, within the one row. And this uh, multi dimensional array, it is a form of a matrix, simil uh, similarly, mat form of a matrix, it consists of rows and columns. And jogged array, it is a similar type, uh, it is similar type of a multi dimensional array, but Rows are equal, columns does not equal. Okay, what is inheritance? Inheritance is a acquiring the properties from parent class to child class. Uh, these are a five types: um, single inheritance, multi inheritance, multi level inheritance, hybrid inheritance, and uh, hierarchical inheritance. Okay, what are the OOPS principles? What are the four pillars of OOPS? OOPS principles are in. Um, Inheritance, abstraction, and uh, encapsulation, and polymorphism. Inheritance is a uh, acquiring the properties from one class, uh, parent class to child class, and uh, abstraction it is a uh, showing that uh, holding the data, holding the internal implementation, show, showing the structure, and encapsulation it is used to security purpose. It is a uh, binding the data, and uh, polymorphism. Poly means more, and uh, forms means a uh, web forms. It is uh, one thing is be, uh, one thing showing, is the, multiple showing the multiple behaviors. Okay, see the lecture. It's good. Okay, that's all. Can I feedback you? Okay, it's nice. And a little bit you need to elaborate more. Okay, sir. Fine. Thank you.